ski construction, there's a lot of like myth and mystery behind it. It's all very simple in a sense. There's three, three in quotes, different ways to build skis. You have cap construction, you have semi cap construction, and then you have sandwich construction. The majority of skis that we have here on all our wall are sandwich construction. And as the name might imply, the materials and the construction of the ski is exactly like a sandwich. The way that works is you have a wood core, generally speaking, you have glass, sometimes you have metal laminates, you have a sidewall on each side of the ski that presses all of that material together provides better torsional rigidity, more performance, better edge hold, and then higher performance threshold. You generally don't see a lot of high performing skis that have cap construction. Cap construction is similar in the sense that there are still layers of material in these skis, but instead of pressing them together with sidewalls, a physical cap goes over all of those materials and then it's just kind of done. What you lose in cap construction is less torsional rigidity. The skis often are a little bit more forgiving, easier to balance on per se, which is why oftentimes you'll see a lot of rental skis use cap construction, and then cap construction is more often than not found on lower price point skis that are for, you know, kind of entry level skiers. Some other disadvantages to cap construction skis is without that added torsional rigidity, the skis don't feel quite as stable at higher speeds. When you have full sidewall construction, most of that is solved. Where the skis feel better rolling edge to edge, they don't want to bend and twist quite as much, which is where they'll feel more responsive and then more stable, better for a progressing skier and then more advanced skiers. The hybrid of the two would be your semi-cap, where you have sandwich construction directly underfoot, so you get that you know more solid bite. And then when you have cap in the tips and tails, you reduce the swing weight and then add some forgiveness. So a lot of like park skis, more freestyle inspired skis or kind of beginner intermediate skis might have this combination. So you get like a higher performing ski that isn't as unforgiving as some sandwich skis can be. There are obviously varying levels of sandwich construction and the kind of materials they add to skis, core thickness, density, wood core differences, material differences come into play. And that's where like you can create a spectrum of easy to ski sandwich sidewall skis. And then you also have more difficult to ski sandwich sidewall skis. Generally speaking, the reason why you see sandwich sidewalls so popular in like the all mountain realm is performance, durability, better edge hold. And then they work for a huge range of skiing abilities. One of the reasons why we typically recommend skis with sandwich sidewall construction to the majority of skiers out there is because if you're a skier that values a little bit more of a powerful, stable, precise feel, the easiest way to achieve that is to get a ski that's just built with a little more purpose and intent to allow you to continue to progress or to maintain the skiing level you're at.